this is Gazi Rahman and we're back again with another video. So on today's video, we we're gonna be discussing about an eSports build. And behind me, you can see there's a uh, PC already set up. And this PC has been customized at the theme of uh, Asimov Weapon Skin from CSGO. Now, this build is kind of personal for me because I've been playing this game for a long time. I'm not the best player out there, but I do play this game a lot. I have over 2000 hours played on this game. So building a PC with the Asimov weapon skin, which is one of the most beloved skins in CSGO. So building a casing on this theme is kind of personal and I've been building this PC for my office use. So I thought, why not make a video out of it? So now let's talk about the build itself. Uh, first component that we'll be talking about is the chassis itself, which houses the whole build. So for the chassis, we use a Gigabyte C200G uh, casing, that's a temple class casing. So what we did is we custom painted the whole uh, chassis, this is a back, uh, black color chassis. So we made it, we custom painted it to look white. And on top of that, we applied stickers, uh, vinyl inkjet printed stickers on top to give it that nice uh, texture, that Asimov texture. So guys, let's talk about the brains of the operation right now. And for this build, we went with a Ryzen 5 3600 because uh, well the gaming performance and the workload performance for this processor is off the charts right so uh, to house this processor we went with a B550 Oros Pro motherboard uh, as I said earlier this is an esports inspired build so basically when you're talking about builds which uh, are made for esports we always need to take budget into consideration right well, for RAM, we did go with the Eros 3600 bus speed RAM with the aluminum alloy heatsink on top, which does uh, keep those dies cooled down a fair bit. Plus, it does have that thick RGB on top of it, so that does keep, add an extra oomph to that build. So, for graphics card, we went with the RX 5700 XT. Because since it's an eSports title build, I don't think we need to go for something extreme. This model does have a base clock of 1650. Plus with that beefier heatsink and a three fan design, you can easily push this graphics card to a 1905 megahertz boost clock. So next up on the list is the CPU cooler. And we went to the X240 Water Force liquid cooler for this build. This is a new liquid cooler from Aorus and this does have that revamped design to it. While installation is, Aorus has significantly reduced their dependency on the software side for this product, right? So basically all the media that you want to display on the LCD on top of the block, uh, you can just uh, put that media file in a micro SD and you can just stick it in the micro SD slot available on this block. So next up we'll be talking about the power supply for this build, right? We went with the P750GM uh, full modular power supply from Gigabyte. Uh, it's an 80 plus bronze certified power supply which is perfect for this build because we don't need to put that extra power here. This is sufficient enough. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, this is an eSports inspired build. So we did go with a monitor that is uh, more fitted and suited for uh, this kind of operation. So we selected the Gigabyte G24F monitor. We could have gone with the 27, but when we talk about eSports, 27 becomes a little bit larger. We tend to associate 27, 32 inch monitors with AAA title gaming rather than eSports. So we went with the 24F instead. Now, to talk about this monitor, we first need to uh, address the high-speed IPS panel that they use for this monitor, right? It has great color, great color accuracy. It does look good. The video, the visuals does look good on this. Plus, it has that 165 hertz refresh rate, which is very impressive while you're playing uh, high-speed FPS games like CSGO, Valorant, uh, even Dota 2 itself. Plus, you can overclock this monitor to 170 Hz. That helps as well. Apart from the high refresh rate and the HDR of the things, uh, this monitor does have other additional features like the ICF certification, plus game assist. We have OSD sidekick. We have auto update functionality. If you're connecting your monitor uh, with a uh, USB uplink cable, your monitor gets automatically updated whenever there's a new update available, right? So these are kind of the features that's there. I don't specially use it, but it's good to have them uh, behind the scenes. So yeah, this is the reason why I went with the 24F. 
So guys, that was a breakdown for this build and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, like and subscribe to the channel will be very helpful. And if you want to stay updated with the new content that we drop, you can always click on that notification bell on the side. If you're watching this on Facebook, you can like our page to stay updated on the content that we drop regularly. We have gameplay footages, we have uh, live streams as well. You can stay updated on the new products that are coming out from Gigabyte and Oros on this page. So this is me, Ghazi Roman, signing off for today. We'll see you on the next video.